Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what's happening? Glad you could join us at CKB on the one hour chart, April 7th, noon central time. I thank everyone who let me know the last video I uploaded about this uh, had no sound. Uh, my mic was barely unplugged uh, from the mic input on my computer. So here I am again. Uh, revisiting this TA. What I'm seeing here, I'm not too alarmed at right now. This isn't financial or trading advice. This is just kind of my uh, TA. So for those of you that have been following this TA and this channel now, know that in the last video, I said April 7th, 3 a.m. We're going to see some movement. That was my prediction. And let's look and see what happened. In this last video, so I called this back on April 4th. So none of this was here. Said there's a good chance we could see an event happen, a new high, a new low, or a pivot point. Well, sure enough, we had a pivot point, all right. And this event happened where we basically tanked. Uh, but... Uh, I'm not too too worried about it right at this moment uh, for various reasons, patterns that I'm seeing. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this Fibonacci time zone. I want to kind of elaborate, we'll skip over to like a three hour chart. How on the three hour chart, look at this. Three hour chart, we have a nice double bounce. We've tested the 200 moving average twice. Uh, we have a candle that is shrinking. It's still a, a bearish candle. But if this closes like this, this will give me some sort of confidence that the next candle could possibly be like a star shape uh, or a, a, a green bullish candle. I'd like to see an engulfing candle after this. I'm hoping that what I'm seeing is maybe the start or the halfway point of an inverse head and shoulders. You can see uh, this corrective wave here is definitely uh, is definitely legitimate. I'm almost thinking we may see something like this. And I would love to retest this four and a half cent level like everybody else uh, will it happen we won't know for another probably couple days at least until april 9th or 10th would be my guess this thing's either going to break through the 200 or we're going to see uh, this thing extend back up head and shoulders folks is pretty uh, a pattern that is frequently uh that frequently shows itself on the CKB charts. Uh, for example, uh, well, we don't have to look too hard. We have a baby head and shoulders here. Okay, then look, we have an inverse head and shoulders there. And also, this head and shoulders pattern here. Now, head and shoulders don't always have to be, you know, this perfect formation. Uh, you know, they can definitely be sloppy like this. Uh, this is definitely uh, a head and shoulders pa uh, pattern, no doubt in my mind. Now, the fact that we are we are back almost uh, kissing. The 200 uh, makes me hopeful that we will get a bounce. Other th other indicators that make me hopeful, RSI, uh, we are so low, it's at 30. 30. Super oversold right now. In addition, the MACD, uh, you can see this thing is in the dumpster. So there's a lot of room for both of these indicators to start working their way up. Let's go ahead and run some Fibonacci 
retracement. And let's try to figure out where the heck this thing is. Bear with me one second. I, I haven't had my coffee today, folks. There we go. So one thing uh, when you when you start running Fibonacci retracement that you have to be careful of when buying the dip, uh, the, one of the two safer places to buy, the safest place in my opinion is the 61.8 line. 50% line is a solid uh, percent or, or uh, Fibonacci, uh, you know, support resistance zone. These, this is a powerful number, same with the 618. Uh, but if we break through the 618, uh, we got some bigger issues. Usually, uh, you see a little bit of a bounce off this 23.6. This is all the people that get caught in a bull trap, and same with the 38.2. Uh, these people may be able to make a nice little play on the pump, uh, but usually... Uh, a lot of folks, a lot of traders are waiting to buy in at this 50% level. Same with the 61.8 level. Will this drop down to 61.8? Who knows? I did pick up a little bag of CKB, full disclosure, at about, I don't know, 0.029 cents this morning. Um, so, uh, you know, we won't know. Uh, what happens here, probably for the next day, 12 hours, uh, we will not be able to get a very good direction uh, as far as uh, we are concerned on the three-hour chart. Keep in mind, every bar here is worth three hours of data. So I think three more bars, four more bars, that's 12 hours. That's my reasoning uh, on this chart. Uh, let's go ahead and play some hypothetical games because I always like to look forward and forward think uh, when it comes to everything, business related, stock related, uh, everything. It's just a very healthy practice I think people can do. We have a double bottom here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and measure some Fibonacci time zone to see if maybe we can come up with some sort of hypothetical theory uh, if this thing was to uh, become a inverse head and shoulders. So we may see some top like that. We may see something like this. Uh, could, could happen. Never know. Uh, but you can see how easily we could uh, connect the dots when it comes to a potential, keyword is potential, uh, inverse head and shoulders pattern. Uh, so we have that going right now. I'm, I'm not saying that's going to play out. That's just uh, a very wild uh, theory. Uh, for all I know, this thing could Elliott wave impulse its way down to 0.021. That's why I say these next 12 hours are going to be very important. If we see some resistance at this 38.2 level and we start dropping back down towards this 50%, be careful. If this breaks the 0.026, be careful because we could be in for a ride down to 0.0215. So keep that in mind. Uh, any other things I'm just trying to... Uh, think of, you know, uh, we've kind of covered it all. We could maybe draw up some uh, Fibonacci channels and see if we can possibly channel this thing, assuming, assuming that this is the new bottom. Uh, that would be um, uh, definitely nice if it was. I'm kind of curious here now that I drew this chart. Again, this is speculation. So let's just say one thing that's catching my eye here is the 618 level kind of up here and how how we're kind of uh, in the same territory. I would like 
to see this come up and hit this 618 level somewhere in here. Uh, let's see. Bear with me one second, folks. So, when you lay out a prediction, something like this, interestingly enough, uh, you know, this head and shoulders theory kind of that I have here, uh, it's interesting that, I find this interesting that basically, number one, uh, over here we have, uh, you know, this peak. The beginning of the inverse head and shoulder. And now if this truly inverse head and shoulders, we will see this same peak approximately. Or, you know, if we play these uh, Fibonacci time zones like this, uh, you know, we could very well see by April 17th uh, along the 618 line, the 618 level, it wouldn't surprise me if, we tested some new waters here. Um, that's very interesting. We came up, hit the 100% mark here. Uh, this could come up, hit this four and a half cent ascending triangle or cup and handle, and maybe come up and try for this 100% line later on, which would be about six cents uh, later on in April. Uh, to see that happen would be absolutely phenomenal. I'm not here to throw out any wild, uh, this is wild speculation, and that's all it is, is wild speculation, trying to think forward on what's going to happen next. Of course, we will know more uh, maybe if we see another shoulder develop, but like I was saying, it may be a couple days for us to uh, make any consideration, I would say maybe by April 10th, 11th, uh, you know, if we see another uh, shoulder form on this. That's a, a very good sign. That's all I have for you folks. If you found this TA interesting or helpful, please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. It's free. In addition, smash the like button. I truly appreci appreciate logging in and seeing these videos, uh, you know, with a good amount of likes. It shows me that uh, people are valuing these types of videos. Uh, and it keeps me motivated to uh, keep up with the videos. Uh, again, thank you to all, everyone who uh, commented on my last video about the audio issues. I really, truly appreciate that. Let me know in the comments what your price predictions are for CKB in the next year. There is some discussion on uh, one of my previous videos, whether or not this thing has a chance at hitting a dollar now uh we will see what happens bear with me one second there was a uh a gentleman or somebody who uh you know there was some speculation that was saying uh hey you know it might not go over a dollar etc etc uh, my response to that was uh, currently at 0.028 ish. CKB is sitting at about a $680 million market cap. In previous videos, I've done uh, a video about, uh, you know, a hidden gem, which I, I happen to think CKB could be. Uh, but for CKB to reach a dollar at this point, it needs to 36x from 0.028 to reach a dollar. Now, at that point, once it hits a dollar, we're sitting at a $24.5 billion market cap. That's not a crazy number at all in the crypto world, but you have to consider other assets like Cardano and some of those, uh, you know, fourth, fifth seat, uh, top market cap, uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, this would be slightly underneath where they are at right now. So maybe in a few years, it'll get to that point. However, uh, you know, 
when it comes to storing data uh, and, and assets and stuff like that, uh, especially on the Nervos network, each one of these CKB, these CK bytes, uh, a single CK byte will uh, account for, I don't know, one megabyte of storage or correct me if I'm wrong, something similar to that. So I could see a lot of people buying CKB for future use of storing uh, digital assets online. If they buy a ton of it at a cheap price, uh, they will be able to store digital assets on the blockchain for really cheap. Uh, so that I am excited for that. Uh, you know, obviously this is years down the road. So what we will see happen, nobody knows. And that's the correct answer. This is a gamble. Uh, CKB is new. They have a good leadership team uh, from what I can tell. Uh, there, there really hasn't been a whole lot of crazy news about them. And a lot of times, no news is good news. So if you live by that theory, uh, I would rather have no news than bad news. That's my whole CKB spiel today. Thank you, everyone, for listening and watching. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you have any other hidden gems you want me to check out or other cryptos uh, that you may be interested in that I'm not discussing. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you.